step it through to you. Dun, boom, dun, boom, dun, boom, dun. Boom. <laughs> All right, we have a treat in store for y'all today. I know you probably heard the extra voice. That was none other than Simply Nita. Say hi. Ah, your favorite thick nurse. Ow. Ooh, <laughs> so we decided to do something special for y'all. And we're going to do more videos like this. But we was both just on the phone. And we was both hungry. So we was like, you know what? Let's do a mukbang and let's talk to the people today. Let's do a collab. It's my best friend, so you gonna, like I said, you'll get more of this, especially when she's off and she's not busy saving the world and saving lives with her thick thighs. Ooh, make we sure you subscribe. <laughs> yes, and simply need to make sure you go subscribe, like, and comment. We only ask y'all to do three things. Four if you really, if you're really feeling nasty, go ahead and share one of the videos. But anyway. <laughs> We are going to just be talking to you guys, um, relationship questions and all that good stuff, going through the DMs. We will keep the names private. Last time I did it, a few people was butt hurt, but hey, it's part of the game. <laughs> so I will get back with y'all in a second. So I'm here with Simply Nita, your favorite thick nurse. And you guys say who you here with? I'm here with. <laughs> okay, let's start over. No, we can just run it. <laughs> Who you here with, huh? Hi, guys. <laughs> Simply need aka your favorite thing, nurse. I'm here with the lovely. I was announcing you and you was announcing me. I did. We you said it. I am here with Simply Nita. So you I said it. yourself. Oh. I'm keeping I'm all of this. I'm keeping it. <laughs> Well, just announce yourself. This right. is the first mukbang mukbang. <laughs> I am simply needed. I say, aka your favorite thing, nothing. <laughs> now, y'all. Oh. <laughs> she ain't gonna say my name. I'm extra large, sweet tea. Extra large, sweet tea. <laughs> and yes, uh, if you read the title instead of just clicking on it. We are doing a seafood mukbang and we're discussing relationships and men. Stupidity. <sighs> Women too. <laughs> Stupidity. <laughs> Y'all not excluded now. We're gonna get into it. An occasional reading of the DMs. So put my sleeves up, y'all. We wash our hands so it might be a little ash. It's ash on my ass too, in case I get up. But y'all not gonna see that. Um we are rocking our onesies because we want it to be comfortable. You know, when you getting down and dirty with some food, you you ain't trying to be worried about messing up no clothes or nothing. And I'm about to move that over there so we can only look in one direction. I forgot it was. Cause <laughs> I it's forgot back and forth. <laughs> I forgot he was over there. <laughs> See, my people right here, your people right there. We just gonna move y'all together. So give me a sec. Y'all gonna see Ed. Hey, hey. She's my best friend. <laughs> back bitch. Ooh. Try not to fall. Because <laughs> I will right quick. I'm drinking some tropical strawberry Moscato from Sam's Club. And you don't need to know why I drink it. <laughs> just in case my trainer, trainer want to watch. I mean, it's healthy. Both of them are healthy. See, wine is healthy too. It's, it's healthier than alcohol. This is definitely bad. healthy. <laughs> Trust me. So, do you want to start us off? Cause yeah. I'm hungry. So I had, so we had. I I really can't do see, a lot of seafood because I have like a jack intolerance. I would vomit. But I have two clusters of snow crabs, corn, potatoes, turkey sausages, and I sauteed some onions. This is about to be bomb. I have uh, snow crab legs, corn, potatoes, scallops. Shrimp, mm. egg, turkey sausage, the whole shebang, <laughs> goddammit. The whole seafood department. Onions, hungry. Yes, I haven't eaten. I actually worked out this morning and I haven't eaten anything. And this is my first meal of the day, too. So, yeah. Nothing since. Let me night. overindulge. Well, not overindulge. Not, not gluttony, but <laughs> let me enjoy. Y'all, just crazy. Is fuck. And I told her mouth. I was like mild to medium. She was like, we only got mild. It's the same thing. We don't have a medium. And started laughing at me too. I'm like, what well, shit? <laughs> Twisted crab we had um 
mild, medium, everything. Right. This, um, usually when I make my seafood boils, I use it like the sauce, but this company, you can, I'm gonna show you how to go. You can yeah. buy, <laughs> <laughs> you can buy the sauce individually, as y'all can see, which is only like, it's not that much, like three, four dollars, something like that. Mm -hmm. But like that. I just feel like you spend so much money buying a bag, by the time you buy everything else, like this right here didn't cost that much. I mean, it did, but compared to you buying a bag for $80, you get two clusters, two shrimps, and that's it. Mm -hmm. You do better make your own seafood boy. So that's what I do. I cook my own. Extra large sweet tea people. I make my <laughs> own food because it tastes better, number one. And then number two, you get so much more money. Yeah. You get more more free money. Mm -hmm. So, y'all got to get my child about 45 minutes. We ain't going to rush it. But if we go over time, they show my Instagram. <laughs> and I'll pick her up, come right back. I know. I know. So, mm, I ain't got nothing to do. What I got to do, y'all? Y'all already seen them unemployed. <laughs> what the fuck I got to do? Nothing. <laughs> nothing but talk, y'all. No, I appreciate no. y'all being here to talk to us and actually wanting to. Y'all see that? Can y'all see this? The onions. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> the onions. <laughs> but love, I'm going to keep shouting her out. Y'all run it up at Simply Nita. Come on now. Now y'all playing. First of all, first of all. Y'all playing. I want to congratulate. First of all, y'all. I have been on her for 18 years. Funny story. <laughs> Our mothers were in labor together. We have the same birthday. January 8th. Mm -hmm. Our mothers were in labor together at the same hospital. Fast forward to ninth grade. Mm -hmm. We were in the same class. No, 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 which one? In the same class. And put two and two together, told our mamas that voila. We have been together ever since. You know, friendships has ups and downs, but we're here now. Mm -hmm. and I ain't sleep with her man or nothing like that. But y'all yeah. come in my comments like, what the fuck you do to her? Nothing like that. And I didn't sleep with her. You know that. <laughs> we truly honor the girl code. There's too many dudes out here. Yes. To be fucking your own. So many. Shoot. To be fucking your own. Your Over family. 900 in the DMs. So definitely too many. Ooh. Right. <laughs> so I just want to give y'all a little backstory of how we met. How long we've been friends. And we're still rocking. So we met at the hospital, really. We probably <laughs> was in the bed close together. When we was born. <laughs> <in the same day. laughs> what was doing? <laughs> when they pricked our goddamn foot. <laughs> Probably was talking shit then. Man, girl, what they do to you? They done brought, brought me back here, barely gave us a bill. What they do to you? And I also want to congratulate her. She's now at a, uh, I think it's on 100,000. Something is happening with some 100,000. I want my favorite number. We're going to speak it. But she's at a thousand studies. Thank y'all for subscribing to her channel. Yes. So I want to congratulate her because it's not easy uploading and filming because when you don't want to mm -hmm. it's easy not to do it so i just mm -hmm. want to congratulate her thank about you that. and mm -hmm. i'm a future congratulate you because you're on your way as well we're both gonna be uh making our way to the top rounding around <laughs> I, should have got played. So, I love the bowl y'all she came up with the bowl idea so y'all can see and start to keep digging in the bag mm -hmm. so I don't want to tilt it in. It's going to be real hot. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, let's dig into it. So, I kind of remember what the individuals have said to me. So, and then on top of that, I'm recording with my phone. So, I ain't finna buy no camera. So, it's a good quality. Maybe better quality with a camera, but I ain't that far yet. I mean, we'll get there. Right we'll there, we're doing there. what we're doing. That's it. So, I kind of, I remember what people have said to me and also we're going to talk about past not relationships well some relationships but past situations that we have been in i ain't going to say that but situations situationships. that we have been in because you was not my man in case you thought you was you, you would never be <laughs> you wasn't but um situations we have been in where dudes are the fuck crazy so did you want to start 
Because I don't have that much on my in my DM. I mean, I do, but I'm not going to be all of them. My, yeah. main, my main shit is the, the reality of men. Yeah. I can um just start with a story of how these men are crazy. Hold on, y'all. Can I say this real quick? Please. Females. This is to my beautiful queens. Whether you black, white, I don't care what color. What we're not going to do is go into the year... You gotta make sure I'm covered, y'all, you know, because I don't want you two to be saying nothing. Child, I'm still filling in the blank. <laughs> My titties in the mail, they coming for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you have a delivery. <laughs> um, ladies, we will not go into the year of 2022 with old baggage. So, y'all know y'all work, know who y'all are, know that y'all are queens, y'all are special. And don't get me wrong, I have been there, done it. But goddamn, I'm in my thirties. Excuse me, I'm in my thirties. I don't have time for that bullshit that comes with the stuff that these dudes be doing and saying. Mm -hmm. Okay, do not fall for it. Let me. Let, I gotta put that down to talk to y'all. If he cannot take you out on a date in public, speak. Red flag. Speak. If certain times, I'm pretty sure y'all heard this before, but these are true facts. If certain times of the day he go missing, red flag. Mm -hmm. He weak for that. Hold that thought. Y'all, she got an answer for the phone. Got them scams. <laughs> oh, right. Girl. That's, is it cat? Why look big? Is that right? I'm going to be bald out of here. Okay. Hope y'all can see me. Scam lightly. Do, do not get tired of that shit. Mm -hmm. I got phone numbers blocked. Anyway, so like I was saying, ladies, if he go missing a certain time of the day, let me tell y'all, back up. I'm a nurse. I work 12, a lot of day 12 13 hours a day. I mean, a shift, right? So in between time and meantime, my friends, my family, they know if I don't respond, I'm at work. So I have a consistent habit of when I don't respond because why? I'm at work. Mm -hmm. But I will text. Or I will call when I get off. Now, it's a difference if he's at work. And you know he's at work. But we all get a break. I get one break. So, I will text. Does she know? I will text throughout the, on my break. And then I will miss him after that. But then I call or text in the morning time. Midnight. Two, three o'clock. Period. Clock, no, she know. <laughs> but then in the morning time when I get off of work, I'm usually sleep. So, I go missing again. So that's why I'm saying it depends on the person's work schedule is when they can go missing. But if this person is self-employed, their own boss, or they can make their own schedule, or they have time where they can text, and they don't, they'll text you from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and then they go the fuck missing after that, red flag. Mm -hmm. Living with a baby mama, ex-girlfriend, red flag. Mm -hmm. Cause guess what? I got a child, I was a baby mama. I know how that shit works. Red fucking flag. We will not go to 2022 with old babies. We will know our motherfucking word. You understand that? It kills me when I see beautiful queens settling. Mm -hmm. Fucking married men. Fucking dudes that got a girlfriend. Like, it's a whole lot of dudes out here that you can fuck. Go on Instagram. I'm pretty sure somebody you got them BM. Hold on a second, friend. Hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly. But I gotta uh, play devil's advocate. I gotta speak on behalf of the uh, the mistresses, cause I I was a mistress at one point in time. It does get old. We've been there, done it. We're not judging you at all. Now, if he's paying all the bills, mortgage, rent, car, internet, cable, lights, lawn service. Uh, trash loans. disposal, student loans, car, uh, groceries, child care, everything. Literally everything. If he's paying everything, baby, you are not a mistress. That's your employer. Keep doing what you're doing. But if you stupid. ain't getting nothing from it. It's a lot of y'all. You're talking here, to them. Fuck, you ain't stupid. getting nothing from it. What um what the city girl say? If I'm a I'ma need something. That's what she's talking about. And she ain't talking about something like $40 on the dresser or a four for four. We talking about I got a grocery list of bills that I need taken care of. Now, that's that's for my mistresses. You know, like I said, that's your Don't lawyer. Stupid. 
But if you're not getting that, if you're barely getting a phone call, if you're ba- if he needs stuff from you, there you go. if you're giving him rides to work, if you're if you're the one that's doing everything, ain't giving up the box. It's time to reevaluate things. It's time to reevaluate. I've been there. Push ain't free. And I wasn't a forty dollar chick. I was a hundred dollar chick. Ma'am, inflation. Man, how old were you? I was 20. Not on his ass. <laughs> not in your 30s and not in your fucking 40s. But I just want to make sure I let them know that I see them. There is no judgment. And it's not no judgment. No judgment. That's where I've been done that too, being stupid. But what I'm saying is... I was when, paid. Every once in a while, I mean, but... <laughs> all I'm saying is... We... It's, it's, too, it's too many resources out here nowadays where you can make money. You don't have to clock in. It's too many dudes. It's too many dudes out here that will do what he's not doing. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And if you're going to mess with somebody that's married or got a girlfriend, like she said, capitalize off that shit. Mm-hmm. You better not, especially if y'all one of my friends watching, I better ever find out y'all mess with a married man, somebody with a uh, girlfriend, you ain't getting shit from but some wet puss. Please. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Not to tell my man business. But uh, for those of y'all that don't know, I am in a relationship with a trans man, meaning biologically born a woman, and is now transitioning. That's neither here nor there. When we met, she, I can say she, it was the beginning, when we met, she already knew what it was that she wanted, and she knew she didn't want to play any games, and took note right away of some stuff that I needed. Now, I see all the memes and stuff like, oh, you meet her and then four hours later, she's talking about she need $100 for her phone bill. That phone bill was due prior to her meeting you, whether you want to believe it or not. <laughs> it was due. <laughs> now, some of us do holler money just because we want some. And some of us really do be going through stuff. Now, I also say don't date if you can't afford to date. If you know your your uh, bills and stuff is piling up, your priority is not to date. Unless you're trying to meet somebody that's going to take care of X, Y, and Z. Yeah, but if you're just dating to date, then you need to be financially ready to. Correct. Now, I said all that to say, when we uh when we met, I put my business out there because the Lord has blessed me. I'm blessing <laughs> Every time you say bless <laughs> Who's, well, who's saying that, y'all? <laughs> Go to church if you don't know. I'm not telling y'all. <laughs> when we met, I had moved back home in my parents' home. Uh, I think I had been there about four years. So in four years' time, you have time to get yourself together. But I had not. I'll be truthful. I had not. So when we met, and I was okay. still on. Yeah, I ain't ashamed. I was still on my twin bed that I was previously on when I moved out of that house. Y'all, hold on. It's not what she's saying. It's how she said it. So y'all can find me laughing. I've been doing this for years. So don't come in the comments talking about something. She's laughing at you. I'm not laughing at her. It's just how she's saying it. But anyway, I can you. Ain't no shame. I was on the twin bed. My big ass was on the twin bed. And I've lost 40 pounds since this size. Period. So I was on a twin size bed heavier than I am. Heavy, heavy. <laughs> it was a permanent groove in it where I laid. Right. So when she started to come over, she started noticing certain things about how I was living. Not saying my family was poor. We wasn't. But when you reach a certain age and you're living with your parents, you are expected to take care of those things that you need. Your responsibility. Right. Because you're not a child anymore. So if I wanted a bigger bed, I would need to pay for it. My parents isn't going to pay for it. And I went and looked to them to pay for no whole nother bed for me. And I'm a whole working grown ass woman that's out here humping. And my dad always said, if you humping, you need to be getting paid. He need to pay you. So she took notice of what I needed and then started making moves to just get it. Shout so, out to her. Yeah, so one day after work, we went to Value City. I love that store, I love the furniture store. Value City Furniture? Yes. Love it. Went to Value City one day after work because we was working together. That's how we met. And we had went there to meet up with a friend because she was in there as well. And they was doing like this big furniture sale or whatever. 
And she was like, pick out a bed. Because you need a bed. <laughs> the man. You need a bed. So I was like, yeah. And whole time I'm thinking in my head, I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to, you know, I'm making the money. I'll go ahead and pay for it. It's time. And baby was like, when it was time to go pay for it, or sign up, whatever. Y'all know financing and stuff. She financed it for herself. And she paid for it for herself. She was like, I'm going to be sleeping in. So I paid for it. And that was, we was together under 45 days when it happened. It don't take long for mm. a person to realize or figure out what they want. If a motherfucker drag you for two, three, five, 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 six, seven, eight years, five, 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 six, seven, eight years, you're not what you want. Or mm -hmm. she's not what you want. Or no matter what type of relationship you're in, mm -hmm. you're not what that person wants. He, she, they, it, him, whatever. <laughs> so I love and respect their relationship. It did not take long for a person to pick up. Do you mind if I say the name or just? Oh, I mean, I, I always say baby or Dre. Oh. But it didn't take long for Dre to, really, to figure out what he wanted. Y'all got mm -hmm. excuse on trying to get words right. But it didn't they take... used to be saying she, he, she, he. <laughs> But it didn't take long for her to realize what she wanted. But I feel like a lot of people, um, you are their placeholder. Yeah. And a placeholder is they're holding you until they get the person they really want. Where is that coming from? A neck? Got some bananas in here or something? <laughs> I did just eat the last banana. It might be in that trash can. Mm. And the trash can is open. Oh. That's but I, my, I have a brother. She has a brother. I know different dudes. I'm close to certain different, you know, certain dudes. And as friends, and they have all said, they don't, it don't take them a long time to realize or to know what they want. Right. If a dude is ho or they whoever is holding on to you, I want to say, why is that moving? Oh, that's somebody. Girl, that shit was scaring me. What? So, so, yo, somebody texting you and the, the little thing moving. <laughs> the and I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> now I ain't got my glass on, so I can't see shit. Not a ghost. And I'm like, what is that moving? But anyway, um... They have all say it does not take long for them to realize yeah. if you if you're the one they want. Now, what we mess up at is by having sex. We mm -hmm. we gonna dig into it. We mess up by having sex because and that's on us, right? Because especially if the dude say I don't want a relationship or I'm mm -hmm. not looking for that right now, you still fuck them thinking you want to change his mind. Mm -hmm. You're not. And you're not. He know what the hell he want when he about to get with you. Now sometimes they uh their mind does change over time. Mm -hmm. But as women, I could be honest, when we meet a guy, he'd be like, oh, he cute. Stop texting mm -hmm. for a little bit. He's saying all the right stuff. We're already in our head imagining a relationship and how it would go. Right. How it would be if we were to move in together. We're already imagining that. <laughs> and the only thing he's imagining is how that coochie feel. That's it. Oh, yeah, so we cool. already be on two different wavelengths just mentally. So it's important to us as women because we hold the power. Although you're imagining that, it's not reality. So don't think y'all are in a relationship before y'all are in a relationship or he asks you to be in a relationship and he show you he ready to be in one. Because saying it and doing it is two different things. That goes back to him taking you out, spending time with you, but we can't get that confused either. Because they'll do all of that and still and don't want to be in a relationship. At least he's taking you out. Yeah. You get First you fucking, you ain't getting shit from it. <laughs> he shouldn't even know what the inside of your what, what the inside look like. And that could be the inside of your house, inside of your cuckoo. He shouldn't know what none of that look like if he ain't trying to do the bad money. And let me tell y'all something, ladies. Y'all gotta stop making these dudes come to your house. Ain't no man be here but my daddy. Literally. Nail man, man. I have a, first of all, I have a daughter. So I'm not letting a man in here. Right. And so he's my man. He's, we, we decided that we're going to be one. Not even nobody I'm fucking. We have made a committed, serious relationship for him to step foot in my house or pay my bills. If he ain't paying my rent, you're not coming in this house. Number one. That part. <laughs> but anyway, we can get to the damn because like, we just been battling it all. We're going to get back to y'all ladies. But um, I was uh, speaking on crazy. I think that's what I was supposed to be speaking on. What's crazy? 
just crazy in general. Oh, crazy, crazy men. Dudes. So, can you remember your first encounter with a crazy guy? Mm-hmm. Been a few long. How old were you? Um, in my early 20s. So, what happened? Um, I had seen him one time. <laughs> but we had been social That's media. That's all He saw you one time. Correct. That's all it took. But we had been social media friends. And being that we all, we in a local area, a lot of people get Tierra not confused. You know, you got me by two feet. Very. <laughs> but anywho, he talking to, he's like the first, the first crazy, crazy one. Crazy, crazy one. He um couldn't get what he wanted. I'm gonna sum it up. He could there's a lot of crazy ones, but he couldn't get what he wanted. Cuss me y'all, call me fat or big or something like that. So I started talking to him. Blew my phone up. Then he gonna message me, he's sorry. <laughs> then he gonna say, Can we start over? And I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm dead, I'm fat, you don't want me. Then he gonna say, No, you I'm talking about you PHAT fat. And if I said you big, that means you big, you tall. <laughs> I know what you were talking about. Anyway, fast forward. The limbs mm -hmm. they go to the lie and to make their lie make sense. Sir. Hey, don't. We is not in 2001. You was not calling nobody P H A T. Shut <laughs> the hell up. So. Let me y'all. What's going on? Right? <laughs> so. He. I told him I'm talking no more. He apologized. So okay, cool. Y'all. This man called me 67 times. <laughs> 67 times. <laughs> now I didn't read now. <laughs> and this time I didn't have, I didn't have an iPhone, I had an Android. <laughs> so even if you blocked them, I don't know if your iPhone did it. Even if you blocked them, you still got the, if you want to see your missed the call, you still got a missed mm -hmm. call. And in your text, maybe you had a, a folder with your, um, your block text messages. So he called me six or seven times <laughs> and he texted me 32 times. Mm -hmm. I lie to y'all that. <laughs> so he was saying stuff like, I know you live at this man. Never, he, he was saying that he, I was in his car. Never once, never once was in that man's car. <laughs> not one time. He did not one time come to my house. I'm just confused, right? And then he said, I came to his house. I don't know you live at, sir. <laughs> and trying to convince me. That I do know he live. <laughs> I don't. And try to convince me that I have come to his house. And he lived in my house. It never happened. So he said, I'm going to pull up at your house. And I'm going to knock on your door. And I demand you to talk to me. That's the least you could do is talk to me. That's a that, that's just respect. Y'all, I'm not saying nothing to this man. And he is literally going off. You understand? Because the Android I had was I can upgrade. The Android I had when I kept getting messages that I were not in that folder and calls, it made my phone slow down. And I had to delete the messages in the private or blocked folder in order for it to get back to us right. Y'all, when I say he scared me, because I was like, does, does he know I'm in that? And just second guessing yourself. Right. Because I'm like, well, right. do you know my address? No, you do not know my address because I don't even live... Mind you, it had been 10 years since I seen that man in person. I think I seen him in college at a function or something like that. It had been 10 years. Since Mind I seen you, he man. like 4'11". So, if the last time you saw him was at college, you had to look down to see him. That's number one. Yeah. Number two, when he was saying he knew where she lived, she was in his car. He was talking about me. I used to slide down that pole. I did. <laughs> I used to look down. But it wasn't far to look down. Because I'm only 5'6". But she's short. 5'6". So. But yes, yeah, all of that. I know where you live. You'd have been to my house. I'd have been to several of his houses. <laughs> I don't know why he had us confused. Because I was, I was, y'all. I was a stripper on that pole. 
I'm in love with a stripper. I was on that strip on that pole. He had a little man syndrome. For like five or six years. He had a little man syndrome. Maybe I wasn't memorable enough for him to confuse me with her. But to this day, he still be trying to get in. So I don't know how this coochie ain't memorable. But, but no. I don't know why he mixed us up. I even told him. I said, do you know T? He was like, yeah, why? I said, because. Y'all hit an attitude. Yeah. You're getting me he confused. He has some little man syndrome. Or, and he's, he's bipolar as well. Y'all, he was like, I'm not getting her fucking confused. You are. You, <laughs> are you have Ooh. never been to my house. I have never been to your house. Now, the only way I know his house looked is because he took pictures in his house and in front of the house. But how to get there, I don't know. <laughs> so, y'all, crazy as fuck for him to tell me. <sighs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Like I told y'all, birthday is normal. It's the way. So y'all. Oh, okay. 21 and up. Don't try this at home if you're not 21 and up. Just have to oh, put that disclaimer it. out. So y'all, when I say he was, what made him crazy was him telling me that I was in his car. He came to my house. Girl, you want to fit in that car? Y'all, I said, I might be six even. Last time I went to the doctor, they told me I was five, seven and a half, but I just stood beside men. Like one of my coworkers, he's a cute guy. But he's married, but you know, we all were together. He stood beside me, and I was like, how tall are you, Ryan? And he was like, I'm like six one. So we stood beside each other, and I was maybe like that much shorter than him. So I might be six even. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm six even. I do not. And on top of that, y'all, let me tell you, I lost over 120 pounds as a man. So for me to fit in a little person's car back then, did not happen. <laughs> okay? There ain't no way you were going with that. Going back to the fact that you were going to fit in his car. That's what I'm saying. You would have had to be in the back seat and the front seat. Period. Slap the chair all the way back. Period. That's but, why when I wanted to get a Camaro, the man was like, he was honest and I respect that. I was like, be honest. What, what you think about me being a Camaro? He was like, don't do it. He said those cars Squished. are squished. So he was like, you want to sit in it? Y'all, the seat, this big. Remember, I remember airplane seat. This big. I'm that hip spreading. Don't worry about it. I had to get me a truck. Or an SUV. Whatever. I like sitting up high. I mean, but I wasn't trying to pay that money. Yeah. So, but it is what it is. God has blessed me, so. So how did that situation come to a close? Does he still think it was you? I blocked him. And to this day, well, I think we spoke last year or sometime. He did apologize. He said he must got us confused. Oh, so he admitted to that. He did admit to he must have got us confused. He like onions. Good. He said he must have got us confused. I said, okay. He apologized for the whole name calling and stuff like that. Because I feel like that is emotional abuse. And we're not going to tolerate emotional, physical, or... Uh, Emotional, physical, and what's the other one I always say? Verbal? Verbal. That's it. We're not going to tolerate that. And he was, he won't, he can never be physical. I've been to pick his little ass up and swing his ass somewhere else. Okay, flick him. <laughs> <laughs> but he apologized. He wanted to start over. And he said, all the females I want don't want me, but I got a man. Look how you treat people. Oh, woman. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right. He threw shots at me. So, recently, minding my business. It has to be more careful. <laughs> Extra large sweet tea is minding her business as well. At this point in time, he know that we're friends. Most, 99% of these dudes know we're friends because we appear on each other's social media. So, there's no way... The two cannot know that that's not my like somebody. They just I be trying it. With. They just be trying it. He messaged her. They message me. Same day. Same day. I'll let her take over what he said, but message us the same day. Then get mad. I never responded. And then he just messaged me matter of fact for Thanksgiving. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with y'all dudes? It's like no one is rejecting you. But if you have disrespect, I promise you, 
when you have this, I'm not the female that's going to take you back after you have disrespected me for the umpteenth time. And Especially you, if you was never my man. At this point, you was just trying to talk to her. So that's not how you even start off a situationship. Not alone dating or a relationship. Definitely. You started it off rocky. So I don't have to give you a chance if I don't want to, number one. Number two, I definitely don't have to try to build something with you after you fucked up royally in the talking stage. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you mess up in the very beginning? They say somebody showed you their true selves within 90 days. He Believe showed me. it within 30. Believe him. So, I don't have to accept your apology. I don't have to talk to you anymore. I don't have to consider dating. I don't have to do any of those things because you fucked up with me in the very beginning. It's something different if you and your partner get into a little squabble or whatever, verbal squabble. Y'all don't be fist fighting now. But when you get into a verbal squabble with your partner, it's like, mm, we said things. We didn't mean. We didn't mean. We apologize. We move forward because y'all are in a relationship. If we ain't in a relationship, we just talking and you trying to get to know me. I've seen all I needed to see, heard all I needed to hear. Bye. And y'all... When dudes act like this, <clears throat> gotta believe in the first time. It's like I haven't even fucked you yet. Cause it's only gonna, gonna get worse. worse after you get the nine nine. <laughs> Lord, <I'm> a... <laughs> it's only gonna be worse. And y'all, that's what that's what scares me the most is the fact that you don't know how people are. That's why I wait until until fuck somebody because. I met with a dude. We were doing, we were doing real good for two weeks. Communication was on point. Had a good job. No kids, y'all. I guess this goes back to knowing what you want. We had never seen each. This was like when quarantine, when the pandemic first happened. <sighs> never seen a man in person. Met him online. You in a second story? This ties in. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying. This I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> he told me he loved me after two weeks. That's all I'm gonna say. You know how you look. You ain't never seen me. Pictures. Not even on online. Pictures? Yeah. My face? Yeah. They fall in love over Instagram and Facebook. I have an Instagram. And Facebook. And he didn't have a Facebook. So how he see you? How you when did the call? Oh, we start? we met we met on a website, dating website. Well, so yeah, he, he, he saw you in them, in them five pictures. <laughs> he fell in love. You know what the game be? I ain't never seen a woman like you. I ain't never been around so much beauty, so much body. I ain't. They lose their man. But I'm sorry, extra large. Go ahead. <laughs> so I was going to actually start a little further back than the 20s. I was going to start back when we was in high school. High school? That was my first encounter with a crazy person. Mm. Mm. Now, in high school, we all know you don't know how to pickle. Mm -hmm. You don't. First mistake was a man with five or six kids. T. B. I met him in high school. B. Think of the color. Think of the color. Girl, and then, <laughs> he got too many kids now. Yes. He had six then, y'all. Girl. So, you don't know how to pick him when you were in high school. He wasn't even in school. Oh, when good stage. He wasn't even in school when I was in school. So, shouldn't have even been doing it. But, <laughs> um. He was in high school. No. He was out. I don't know if he had graduated or he was just out. But, he was like. No, you in high school. Yeah. Oh. I Remember, we went right there together. I thought we had graduated. Hell no. Man, you telling too much. I don't give a fuck. I don't believe with him. I'm going to do that out. <laughs> I forgot we was on camera for you. <laughs> I'm about to have a whole conversation. I don't be telling locations. <laughs> but, um. I'm about to be finished too. Yeah, I'm going to take that home. Mm. It's going to be good tonight. I already know somebody going to help me eat it. <laughs> um. Yeah, so you don't really know what you're doing in high school. So, I said that to say this. I was a teenager at the time. 
when this happened. The person that showed me their crazy side, <laughs> I wasn't even dating y'all. I used to work at Walmart. And like I said, I was a minor at the time. I was in high school. And this man used to come in there. He was like 6'2", maybe 6'3". Had them 80s looking glasses that was like this big about the size of these ring lights. <laughs> or the Arthur glasses. We're going to call them the Arthur glasses. And um, he would come in there. He would look at you real fast and then walk off. And I'm Creepy. like, the fuck? Creep show. And then I'd be ringing up somebody and then I'll see the customer in front of me looking kind of weird. So I'm looking at them and they're looking like, like doing their eyes like, look. So I turn around, he's right there and then he'll run off again. So I'm like, okay. As a kid, I ain't think nothing of it. Just thought, okay, people in Walmart, characters. That was in one day. A couple of days later, did it again. I'm heading back to the back for my break. Did he work here? No. I see him walking behind me. I dip down the aisle. And as a kid, you think shit is funny. You don't think like I'm in danger. You're in danger, whore. <laughs> this is not funny. <laughs> not you in danger, whore. <laughs> Go tell somebody. So I run in the back and I told one of the girls I was cool with. And I was like, this guy keep following me. And she was like, what? Girl, all that ass. And then, <laughs> and then we laugh it off. See, shit won't funny, but we laugh it off. At all. <laughs> it continued for several weeks. Finally, I said something to the people at my job. I said, is this man that keep coming in here? By the time he was taking pictures on his little flip phone. He had a disposable uh, camera he was taking pictures on. Following me. Mm -hmm. On my breaks down aisles and stuff. And you know at Walmart they'll send you somewhere quick. They'll get a pallet or something. <laughs> and I will cut my light off. Go get whatever it is they ask me to get. And I will see him walking like he's following me. So I mentioned this to my job. They don't do anything. Typical. So by this time I'm freaked out. Told my mama. Told my daddy. Brother and sister. It was like, all right, next time you see him, call us. So this day, my sister and my brother dropped me off. And I get out of the car and say, all right, see y'all later. I go in. And then he comes in, like, literally not even a minute behind me. So I see him, and I told the door greeter I was cool with him. And I was like, that's the guy that's been following me. He was, like, staying over there. So he had me stand by like the little uh, machines with like the bubblegum candy and stuff. Mm -hmm. He had me stand over there. He was like, hey, bro, you need something? No. And then like he just like walked off. So he was like, it isn't weird. So I called my sister. And I was like, Jess, where you at? Where you at? And she was like, what's wrong? I said, he here. She said, we turn around. <laughs> so her and my brother came back into the store and... I kind of like scurry off. I hadn't even clocked in yet at this point. I was like, fuck this y'all. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's my safety at this point. Y'all didn't care. Y'all only care if he would have stabbed me with a knife he stole off the aisle. That's the only time y'all would have got involved. Only time he had. So, my brother and my sister went to Sporting Goods and like uh, the baby department. My brother had one of them fold up strollers. <laughs> the $20 one when they fold it up they got some weight to it and my sister went and got a, a little bit from over the plastic jump girl you hit with that hurt so <laughs> he was at the money center just kept staring at me as I'm like walking the front and my sister was like where he at I said he right there that's the motherfucker almost hit with my cop like, he literally, when I was walking in, she said he ran in front of the car to run in behind me. Mm -hmm. And whole time, that's the man that's been watching me and following me. So, I'm on the phone crying. Now it got real. Should have said something weeks ago. Now it got real. So, I called my mama. My mom was on her way up there. She's calling the police. The police finally make it up there. And it was like, did you tell anybody? I said, yeah, I told them. And I pointed to my two managers that were sitting right there looking like, 
Stupid. Well, we didn't know the severity of the situation. And the officer said, well, would that mean after something happens? Right. Would that mean you worry about the severity of it? <clears throat> and they were sitting there looking stupid. And he was like, we're going to uh, find out who he is and get to the bottom of, you know, what he's doing here. So they told me. After they followed him, girl, he ran out of the store, ran to a bus stop, got a bicycle. He did a whole a whole bunch of weird shit. They finally caught up to him and got his ID. He was from across the water. He was from 45 minutes away. Mm. Why are you coming to this particular Walmart every single day if you don't work over here? And then by me being a minor, Walmart almost got in trouble. Because oh. if something would have happened to me and they was notified, they would have been in trouble. So we went to court. I had to get a restraining order. Uh, he couldn't be within 500 feet of mm. <laughs> north to south. He couldn't be within 500 feet of it. And he was in court. I mean, he was crazy. We got up there. It was like, do you know this man? No. By this time, by the time court actually came up, I was 18. It was like, do you know this man? Minutes. No. Oh, yeah, you do. Well, we're going to pause for the calls when we come back.